First of all, congratulations to the class of 2011. Even though it was a long time ago, I clearly remember what it was like to sit where you were sitting and experience all of the conflicting emotions that were running over and through me. All at once, you are excited about the future and terrified of it. You feel the joy and pride of completing your studies at this prestigious institution mixed with the sadness of leaving behind familiar faces and places. You hunger for the challenges that lie ahead, yet want to sit back and bask in the glow of a job well done. It's daunting, it's thrilling, it's exhilarating, and, it's all, and it all begins right now. Well, I want you to know that you are not alone. You may think that the relationship you began with Binghamton University on the day you first set foot on campus will end when you walk out the door of the event center today, but in fact, you would be wrong. In actuality, you are merely exchanging your current status as a member of the student body for a new status as a member of the alumni body. And what a change in status that is. It means that you will now be part of a group of 103,000 living alumni in all walks of life living in all four corners of this world. It means that you will be part of a community that includes such notables as ESPN broadcaster Tony Kornheiser, class of 70, members of the New York State Assembly Donna Lupardo, MA83, and Michelle Titus, class of 1990. A member of our very own alumni board is Jerry Mollen, the long-serving district attorney of Broome County. In the literary world, we have comic artist Art Spiegelman, who created the Mouse graphic novels, and authors Deborah Tannen, class of 66, and Anita Diamant. Fellow alums in the entertainment world include actors Billy Baldwin, class of 85, Paul Reiser, class of 1977, and musician Ingrid Michelson, class of 2001. A fairly recent graduate, Johnny Wu, class of 2005, is currently appearing on Broadway in the new play, Chinglish. Stephanie Courtney, class of 92, may not be a household name, but I'm sure that you will all recognize her as Flo from the Progressive Insurance television ads. <laughs> from my year, 1980, we have my good friend Owen Pell, who is now a senior partner with the law firm of White & Case in New York and Matt Wiemet, a senior executive in the hospitality industry who at one time held the dream job of being president of Disneyland Resort in California. Now, maybe Matt's job was not the real dream job. That honor really goes to Steve Corin, 1988, who was a one-time writer for the Seinfeld TV series. Scott Krug, 96, is the chief financial officer for the New York Yankees. David Sarnecki, class of 97, is an engineer who works on the Guitar Hero video game. Another good friend of mine, Mark Zurak, class of 78, is a retired managing director from Goldman Sachs and currently a professor at Columbia University. The list goes on and on. Now, no pressure. These folks have all been very successful in their professional lives, and that's great to see. But the real fact is, is that overall, our alumni, our alumni body is a pretty accomplished group, which is all the more remarkable when you consider that so many of us either came from modest financial backgrounds or, or were the first generation in our families to attend college or both. The common denominator, Binghamton University, deserves at least some of the credit for that success. And in one way or another, we want you to recognize this and help us maintain the institution for generations to come. For over 30 years, my wife Bonnie and I have been proud to be alumni of this fine institution. We have supported the university through thick and thin, both as volunteers and as donors, and we will continue to do so for as long as this university continues to provide excellent, affordable educational opportunities for students of all backgrounds. We hope you feel the same way. You may feel that right now, as a newly minted graduate, you are in no position to give back to the university, either time-wise or monetarily. And that's okay. This is a two-way street. Maybe we can help you. You may not know that the alumni office maintains a career network to help both students and alumni network effectively. Go online to check it out. 
It may help you crystallize your career plans or even help you find a job. It will certainly help you establish contacts. Take it from one who knows. Networking is so important in today's world, and I don't mean just social networking like Facebook. I mean real face-to-face -face relationship building. Competition at all levels is fierce. Those who effectively establish a good, solid personal brand coupled with a good, solid network and who spread the news about themselves will have an edge. Therefore, you should not be shy about mining whatever university contacts you may have or can make. You can never overestimate their value to you. Stay connected with your university. It may be as simple as wearing a Bearcats t-shirt or reading the Binghamton Magazine. Come up in the fall to homecoming. Attend an alumni event wherever you happen to live. Maybe even offer to host an event at some point in the future. Keeping in touch with the university will give you a sense of being part of something that is much larger than yourself, which is always a good, comforting feeling. You are proud of your accomplishments. Be proud of your alma mater. From the members of the Alumni Association Board of Directors and the staff of the Alumni Relations Office, I want to congratulate you and your families and wish you all the best of luck in whatever the future holds for you. Work hard, play hard, and don't be a stranger.